Camp Liberty, home to 3,100 Iranian asylum seekers with an area of half a square kilometer, consists of trailers installed close to each other making it extremely vulnerable to missile and mortar attacks. During their stay in Camp Liberty, U.S. forces placed T-walls and concrete bunkers around the trailers, reducing threats down to zero. In the process of Ashraf residents' transfer to Liberty, the GOI quickly removed a large number of the T-walls and bunkers out of the camp. This measure was repeatedly protested by the camp residents and also in NCRI statements dating April 24th and September 4th, 2012 describing it as preparing the grounds for the residents' massacre. Ashraf residents transferred from Ashraf to Liberty in eight convoys for the sole reason of being promised more protection. Finally, on February 9th at 5.45 a.m., while the residents were asleep, the camp was hit by 38 107mm missiles. Due to the camp's small area and the compressed living conditions, five residents were killed instantly, another lost his life due to delays in reaching a hospital, and the seventh victim died a few days later in a hospital. Two of the victims were refugees of Germany. One hundred others were wounded and injured, of which ten are maimed. Six unexploded missiles remain inside the camp. تنها آمبولانس موجود متعلق به نیروهای عراقی یک ساعت بعد از شلیک in Camp Ashraf, with an area 80 times larger than Liberty and its concrete buildings, numerous missile attacks and aerial bombings had left only one resident killed in 25 years. Therefore, the residents demand their return to Ashraf to protect their lives until resettlement. <laughs> 